So many of us have really awesome PCs to edit our astrophotography photos with, but we can make the best utilization of these by using the powerful graphics card in our computers instead of our CPU and running our fans. We can shorten these long three, five, 10, 15 minute processes down to seconds. I've struggled with this, but I finally have got it working and I'm gonna show you a guide on how I did it. So my name is Chad, this is the Easy Astro Images channel. We are gonna collect some photons today. Very glad to have all of you back here. I'm super excited to finally have this done. So I am gonna put this web link right here in the description below. And now I finally got this working. What I'm talking about is using uh, the CUDA development and GPU acceleration from our NVIDIA graphics cards in order to just make all of this stuff work perfectly. Now, there's been a lot of ways and, you know, a lot of instructions on how to use it. And I've tried to do this before and I've always failed. And mostly it's because the different versions of CUDA and the newer graphics cards and everything else. Now I have a 12th gen i9 uh, 12900K, which is super fast, but it still gets taxed, you know, when running Blur Exterminator, Star Exterminator, you know, I can wait for four or five minutes to get things done. But if I can do it in 10 or 15 seconds, that is awesome. And now we can. So what you need to do is just follow everything on this page to the exact tilt. And I really do mean it and it's perfect. So here are all of your download links uh, right here in blue. And um, so you're gonna download the NVIDIA toolkit 11.8. You're gonna download this. You're gonna download this TensorFlow and then right here, you're gonna literally right click on this and click save link as. And now when you do all that stuff, of course, everything is gonna go into your actual downloads folder right here. And if you look and read through some of his instructions here, um, he'll tell you to just go ahead and try to extract you know, everything like this file directly into this file on your hard drive. I honestly didn't have a luck, a lot of luck doing that. So what I did was just extract each zip file to the downloads file. And then I would literally copy and paste everything into the Pixinsight bin or the CUDA 11.8 bin directories that he mentioned. Um, so pretty simple and easy to get everything there. Sorry about that. So get all of that stuff downloaded, and then he tells you exactly what we need to do to install CUDA. You just need to do a custom, advanced, and all we need is the actual stuff right here. It's under deselect everything and just do the libraries and the under the CUDA runtime. So you don't need to download and install the entire application. You will have to set up an NVIDIA account. I already have one so I can get all my graphics drivers and all that stuff. And then when you get down to like these steps here, uh, literally what I did is just went back into the unzipped extracted files and then I copied and pasted those into, you know, you can see right here, the CUDA bin directory, directory. Uh, same thing here. When you get to this install Zlib thing, um, you know, you right clicked on it up there and saved it as that's how it saves it. You only need to just copy and paste one file into the CUDA 11.8 bin and that's it. And then when you go into like and edit your system variables here in Windows 10, there's really only two things you need to do. You need to make sure that you add this right here, this command into system variables, follow the steps, simple, great pictures, file the, do this here for the path, simple and great, easy pictures. And then just open yourself up a task manager. Um, you can select CUDA if it's there. Mine's not there, but it doesn't matter because you'll be able to actually see uh, your task manager here. So if we open PixInsight, we've got the Dark Shark here. We've got our GPU monitor here. Typically what would happen whenever we would run this is the computer would literally spike to 100% and it would remove all the stars. Now, what we're gonna do, Star Exterminator, 
just to show you that this works finally. Watch our GPU percentage here. You know, typically Star Exterminator would take maybe two or three minutes, nothing super crazy on this computer because again, it's super, you know, a super fast uh, PC that I just did a couple months ago. But we'll go ahead and drag and drop that and I'll go and pop that back up. And now you see our GPU percentage is just going all the way to the top using all of the CUDA cores. We're already at 60 some percent through. And I mean, literally it's like a 10, 15 second process. And there is all of our stars removed just like that. And if we bring up, we get the process manager, we can see here that it took 17.085 seconds to do that. So we can also just run ahead and try something like, oh, Blur Exterminator. Of course, we're not doing anything crazy. We're just trying this all out here real quick. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to try. Let's see how the real-time preview works. The real-time preview in Blur Exterminator is always a little bit slow. So, yeah, I could see... I can actually hear and see my CPU fans spinning up a little bit. So it doesn't seem to work that well with the real-time preview. It might have worked a little bit better. But let's just say that we want to apply these settings here. And Blur Exterminator, you know, can take some time. But you can see how fast it's running. And you can see again that our GPU is just smoking and going crazy. And this thing is going to be done in literally like 20, 25 seconds probably. Super duper happy with the way that this is working. This makes things beautiful. I have tried a lot of times to get this going correctly and have failed miserably at every time. And this guide finally has done it. Again, we can take a look. 27 seconds. Victory over the CUDA. Thank goodness that I have finally got that figured out. That guide is perfect. Uh, if you don't get it the first time, I did not because I was trying to do the automatic extractions. Uh, do what I did. Just go ahead and unzip and uninstract everything and then copy and paste into the folders that uh, he mentioned. So shout out. Uh, that was on the Pixinsight Beginners uh, Facebook group a couple of days ago. And uh, man, I am super happy that that works now. That means that all of these crazy AI things are just going to happen and we can make so many different changes and try things out now and uh, do it in almost real time. So thanks a lot, everybody. Hope this helps you out. Peace.